type this URL and then join my call. <laughs> But alright, what's up YouTube? Uh, I want to talk to you guys really quick because I actually received an email on LinkedIn and someone is actually trying to recruit me right now into their company. And because they saw I'm a front-end developer, they sent me an email. And this actually happens quite often where recruiters for, I don't know, recruiting companies, they try to recruit front-end developers who are already working with a company. And so they sent me an email saying they want to talk to me on the phone. They want to interview me and try to get me to work for another company. Uh, and this happens often. I do receive these phone calls and I accept these phone calls except their phone interviews because I just want to see what they're actually willing to offer. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and give them a call right now, see how it is, see how it goes, and I'll let you guys know what we talk about just so you guys could see what a front end developer goes through as well as people try to recruit us from all around the country. <laughs> And I've spoken to many of these recruiters just because it's just it's it's intriguing and it's cool that people want to like speak to you and etc. And I'm not necessarily looking to leave my company, but hey, if people want to talk to me, then why not talk to them? Uh, what do I have to lose? There's nothing to lose. And so they pretty much asked me what my qualifications were. I told them the languages I knew, the languages I don't know. I also told them what I want to do, what my goal is as a developer, where I hope to be in a couple years from now. And so we talked. Other questions he would ask, am I happy with my company? Uh, what do I get paid at my company? What am I looking to get paid at the next company? And all these questions pretty much told me, Chris, I have this position that will pay you more than what you're getting paid now. He said a lot more. <laughs> and uh, this position, I would be a front-end developer, but I would have to also learn web design. And I would have to start working with Angular, which I actually haven't worked with yet. And I'm, again, I'm not looking to join another company. But I mean, why not look around or, you know, if people want to recruit you, why not speak to them? Because you never know what can happen. Uh, I want to be able to do so much more that can help much more people than what I'm doing now. And so I look forward to that. And yeah, I mean, that's it. So I'm here, just arrived at Kaiser. I'm gonna see my doctor. I'm not sure if you can see me because the sun's right behind my head. I'm gonna see the specialist finally. This is what I've been waiting for. And um, I got off work at 2 p.m. today. Went straight here, came into work at 6 a.m., left at 2. Won't you save, 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 save me? Won't you save, 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 save me? Alright, what's up YouTube? I'm here at the doctor's and uh, I'm gonna see him. I'm gonna see the specialist. I'm gonna see uh, the specialist that'll take care of my, uh, this health issue that I have to take care of. And some people think it's like something really, really bad like cancer or diabetes. It's not, it's not either of that. It's, it's something that's chronic that I've had since I was 13. But it's extremely painful. It's not deadly. It's not gonna kill me. It can't kill me. But it's extremely painful and there have been times where it's been unbearable to the point that I remember when I was 14, I was sitting on my bed um, and with a knife to my wrist because I couldn't handle the pain anymore. And so the fact that I'm here today now to see a specialist, not just a general doctor like my last video that I made a couple months ago, but now I get to see a specialist and I can afford the medicine. Even though the medicine's gonna be extremely expensive, the fact that I can afford it, and just, I'm so thankful to God for that. So, here we are. You can see my, my uh, gimbal. It's pretty cool. I like this. Um, I love it. It's the best investment ever. Here's my phone that I use for everything. Um, but yeah, I'm here. I'm excited. But I actually want to tell you guys something after I get out of the hospital. So I'll talk to you about that soon. All right, thanks guys. All right, what's up YouTube? So, I just came here from, um, Kaiser Hospital and unfortunately they didn't have the medicine I needed they gave me the prescription I need uh, to get my medicine but they didn't have the actual medicine to give me after they prescribed it to me which is unfortunate so now I have to go to the, the Kaiser Hospital that's right next to my work which is literally right where I came from <laughs> so kind of unfortunate but it's alright it's fine I mean at least I get what I need at least I'm getting the medicine I need to take care of myself too so Kaiser here I go Okay, what's up YouTube? So I just got back from Kaiser. Just so you guys have an idea of how much my medicine costs, one of the medicines I'm gonna buy, uh, without insurance, I believe it's about $3,000. With insurance, 
it's $300. Um, but I think I'm getting a generic version so it's a little cheaper and it still gets the job done. So yeah, I mean, it's crazy. And even just seeing the doctors today, just my copay is 40 bucks, but my copay used to be $75 to see a specialist. So it's a lot cheaper, it's still expensive, but now it's affordable because of the hard work I put into learning code because you know, when it was really hard to learn, I still pushed myself. When I thought I couldn't do it, I still went through it. I still went for it. So, you know, that's important. That's important when it comes to learning code and um, just persevering because all that hard work, guess what? Believe it or not, it's, it's worth it. You know, all, whether you see the results now, uh, that hard work you put into an industry that's blowing up right now, into an industry where the entire world needs web developers just to survive, needs front-end developers, back-end developers, full-stack developers just to survive in this industry that's extremely competitive, you'll be taken care of, right? So even though when it gets hard and you start learning code, man, just go for it. But all right, hey guys, um, the day's about to end. I don't have that much time to record, but I want to share something with you guys, actually. I want to share how uh, there was a time when I first started learning coding. Everyone knows that I learned code in three months. But for those first three months, there was a time when I almost quit. There was a time when I wanted to give up. And the reason I wanted to give up was because I it just felt like CSS was so hard for me to understand. HTML I was able to grasp, but CSS, just that alone was difficult for me. <laughs> um, I, I, you know, honestly, I don't learn as quick as many people think. And it takes me a while to finally grasp a language. And so because CSS was so hard to learn, the, all, all I thought about was, man, like, can I really do this? This is so hard. Is it worth it? Why am I sacrificing so much time in learning code? I mean, the, re the return of investment probably won't even be that high anyway because who would ever want to hire me? And I remember thinking of all these thoughts, thinking that it could never happen to me, thinking that I could never do it. But one of the reasons that I pushed through in learning code, one of the reasons that I made sure that I persevered is that I remember thinking, Chris, what if you didn't go for it. I remember thinking, Chris, what if you really didn't go all out in learning code? What if you didn't put in all that effort? What if you could have actually made it? Chris, what if you could have actually gotten a job and someone would have hired you and now you could take care of your health and your family? And so I remember thinking those thoughts, thinking, man, I'll never happen. But now looking back, uh, what if I didn't do it? I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't have the YouTube channel I have today. I wouldn't have been able to meet people from all around the world and all the people who message me every day and all the emails I receive every day. I wouldn't be in my situation. I wouldn't have been able to afford this phone or this gimbal the stabilizer. I wouldn't be able to take care of Midori and my family. Uh, but the reason I can now is because I didn't just look at how hard it was. I, everyone successful today had to go through some hardship. But I didn't look at just at how hard it was my situation or how hard it was to study code. I looked at where my family could potentially be if I persevered. I looked at the hope of taking care of my health condition. I looked at, you know what? Maybe it will be worth it. The one thing I don't ever want to live with was what if I didn't go for it? What if I didn't make that YouTube channel? What if I didn't look into Treehouse? What if I didn't try that seven day free trial? What if I didn't apply to that job when it could have been a job that hired me? And so my suggestion, my tip to everyone out there is just go for it. Don't live with any regrets. Just try it out. Everyone has so much life to live. Everyone has so much life ahead of them. What is studying code for six months or even just a couple years gonna do to you? What? What will it do for you? What what can you not get out of it? I don't know. But what can it do for you is that it could change your life immediately, within years. It could change, you know, really just your quality of life. It could help your family even that much more. You know, and I don't know where everyone lives and it does depend on the where you live. It, not everything works well for everyone everywhere, but what I can say is just go for it. Don't quit, go all out, because I know there are a lot of people right now that just wants to give in now and wants to stop learning. But hey, for those who are willing to persevere, it's gonna be so worth it in the end. It's gonna help you so much. The reason I'm saying this is because I feel this, I think this every single day. Every day after work, man, it's so stressful at work, but I think about, man, at least I'm here. Wow, I actually made it. 
it's not the best job in the world. But at least I made it. So, alright guys. Just wanted to share that. I hope it helps at least one person out there. But just persevere. But anyways, I gotta go. Uh, this is Krishan. This is the life of a web developer. And I'm out. See you guys later. See you tomorrow. <laughs>